Hi friends, Shayla here. So today is project day. I am actually relocating my TBR shelf there. It's a total mess right now, by the way. So I'm gonna move it from here over to by the window here because the chair that's next to my TBR shelf is currently like broken. I've got it functioning until my new chair gets here, but it's a recliner and I want to actually be able to recline it and rock in it. So I wanted to create a little room so I could like turn the chair and do what I need to do to be comfortable there. So I'm relocating my TBR shelf and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna reorganize that. This is part of the 2K series in which I do my entire library reorganization. I thought about doing it live, but it's one of those things where I thought you guys might appreciate something like this where it's time-lapsed a little bit more and maybe not so exhausting <laughs> to spend hours with me to do it. So let's go ahead and get started by unloading the current shelf. Now that that's all cleaned off, let's move it to its new home and check it structurally to make sure it's still strong enough to really hold all these books. Alrighty, Kaladin approves of the new location and it's feeling good structurally still. I mean, we still have a little ding here, but other than that, it's still in really good shape. I just got this little guy at Walmart and it's been a good thing. Ignore the dryer sheet on the floor, I'll pick that up. And let's go ahead and put things back in. All right, so I'm just going to tell you what these books are as I put them back on the shelf. So it's kind of like a TBR shelf reorganization slash tour that you're getting for this one. And then I'll do like a speed reorg for the rest of the library. So first up, we have The Boyfriend Project by Farrah Roshan is what I want to say. Brand new. Love it. The Knockout Queen by Rupi, Rufi Thorpe. The Sound of Stars by Alicia Dow. The Two Lives of Lydia Bird by Josie Silver. Hard Strings and Other Breakable Things by Jacqueline Firkins. When We Were Vikings by Andrew David McDonald. The Seven Heavens of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And that's it for my unread books of the month. Um, I have started The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, but I have not finished it yet. Then we have A Crown of Wishes by Roshani Chalk. Chalk She. I'm really bad at pronouncing her name, I'm sorry. Emily Eternal by M.G. Wheaton. The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. Curse by Frank Miller and Thomas Wheeler. The Orphan Keeper by Cameron Wright. Even the Mortal Journey by Beverly Campbell. The Clockwork Dynasty by Daniel H. Wilson. Lost and Found Sisters by Jill Chavez. Consumed by J.R. Ward. Shadow Black by Sebastian de Castell. Storm of Locusts by Rebecca Roanhorse. The Complete Arrows Trilogy by Mercedes Lackey. Break Your Glass Slippers by Amanda Lovelace. And that's it for kind of the oversized things. We're gonna go to kind of the standard YA hardback size now. Sisters of Shadow and Light by Sarah B. Larson. The Longest Ride by Nicholas Sparks. Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi. Serpent and Dove by Shelmy Mahurin. Verona Comics by Jennifer Dugan. When the Sky Fell on Spender by Emily Henry. Frankly in Love by David Yoon. Girl Stop Apologizing by Rachel Hollis. Call Down the Hawk by Maggie Stiefader. Of Curses and Kisses by Sonia Menon. The Blood Spell by C.J. Redwine. The Bird and the Blade by Megan Bannon. Rogue Princess by B.B. Myers. The Magnolia Sword, A Ballad of Mulan by Sherry Thomas. Storm Rise by Jillian Bowen. Love from A to Z by S.K. Lee. The Forest Queen by Betsy Cornwell. And Winter Glass by Lexa Hillier. Next up, Trade Paperback. Let's start with the fantasy titles. The Queen's Rising by Rebecca Ross. A Queen in Hiding by Sarah Kozloff. Empire of Sand and Realm of Ash by Tasha Suri. Year of the Griffin and the Merlin Conspiracy, both by Diana Wynne Jones. A Bit of Magic, a collection of fairy tale retellings arranged by AJL Anthology. Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman. The Ingenious by Darius Sinks. Forest of a Thousand Lanterns and Kingdom of the Blazing Phoenix, both by Julie C. Dow. Dark Immolation by Christopher Husberg. Time of the Dragons by James A. Owen. Hunted by Megan Spooner. A Touch of Gold by Annie Sullivan. 
Green Lady by Jennifer Julinder, and The Beast Hearts by Leif Shalcross. Nevermore and Wondersmith, both by Jessica Townsend. And now we are on to contemporary titles. The Secret Ingredient for a Happy Marriage by Shirley Jump. Bad For You by Jay Daniels. Honor by Jay Crownover. Hang Tough by Lorelai James. What to Say Next by Julie Buxbaum. Tailspin by Sandra Brown. More Than Words by Jill Santopolo. Wish You Were Air by Heather Vogel's Vogel Friedrich. The Sword in the Stone by T.H. White. Unchained by Helen Hart, which is actually paranormal. The Edge of Us by Jamie McGuire. The Secret Daughter by Kelly Rimmer. The Forbidden by Julie Jody Ellen Malpas. From Twinkle with Love by Sandia Menon. Love Unscripted by Owen Nichols. The Little Paris Bookshop by Nina George. Titans by Leela Meekum. And Lucky Harbor by Jill Chavez. Next up, the mass market paperback size. Let's start with the paranormal romances. Immortal Born by Lindsay Sands. Leopard's Wrath by Christine Feehan. Dark Sentinel by Christine Feehan. Stygian by Sherlyn Kenyon. Inner Badger Way by Shelley Lawrenson. My words are like tumbling over themselves today. Dark Fever by Karen Marie Moaning. Dragon Bane by Sherilyn Kenyon. Visionary Wolf and Code Wolf. This Strange Witchery and Tamed by the She-Wolf. Skinwalker by Faith Hunter. Serpentine by Laurel K. Hampton. Laurel K. Hamilton. Blah. Magic Bites and Magic Triumphs by Ilona Andrews. Let's do the rest of the mass markets now. Dead House Gates by Steven Erickson. Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. Fool Moon by Jim Butcher. Lulu's Cafe by T.I. Lowe. A Christmas Bride by Hope Ramsey. Holding Fire by April Hunt. Two Scott to Handle by Grace Burroughs. No Other Duke Will Do by Grace Burroughs. The Reckless Bride by Stephanie Lawrence. Any Duchess Will Do by Tessa Dare. Hunting for the Highlander by Lindsay Sands. Sunshine by Robin McKinley. Wrath of the Goddess by Lauren Dane. And Ride Wild by Lauren Kay. Last but not least, the manga. Volume 1 through 10 of Strawbudge. A Witch's Printing Office Volume 2. Silver Spoon Volume 13. Phantom Tales of the Night Volume 3. Skullface Bookseller Hauntasan Volume 3. Carnival Omnibus 2. Cheese Sweet Home Part 3. Monkey High, Volumes 1 through 8. Assassination Classroom, Volume 14. Holic, Omnibus 1. Restaurant to Another World, Volumes 2 and 3. And Let's Dance a Waltz, Volumes 1 through 3. So, friends, this is the reorganization of the TBR shelf. Yes, I definitely need to work on the amount of titles. I've got a lot of mass markets I haven't gotten to yet, as well as a bunch of other titles that have been on my shelf for a while. So... Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any ideas on how to help me get through this TBR without totally exhausting myself and burning myself out, let me know in the comments down below. I'm always looking for tips to help with my TBR. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.